welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with my brother. Hello. And in today's video, we're going to be doing who's most likely to questions while modeling our Romwe outfits. I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but Romwe actually has men's or boys clothes. Um, yeah. So that's why my brother's here. Um, if you guys don't follow my brother on Instagram, you definitely should. It'll be linked in the description and you can say your username right here. Uh, it's Brogan Kelly 2003 Yes, and also I have a coupon code for you guys. And so if you want to purchase anything from Romwe or any of these cute outfits, I'll leave it up on the screen. Saving that moolah. So without further ado, let's get started. You're supposed to. Okay, so here is my outfit. It is this super, super cute, like dark blue top. I've actually worn this like before I filmed this video probably like five times in a row. It's super comfortable and super cute. And then these really cute jeans, which I love because like I feel like they're super unique and different, um, but they have a bunch of different like square color pattern material and they fit me really really good and then here are the bottoms so yeah that's my first outfit all right my first outfit is this black shirt with the x with a palm tree in it i love this shirt <laughs> i like it a lot too mostly because it's a very warm shirt even though it's very light and yeah like i like the longer sleeves for some reason i don't know but yeah so the first question i'll read first Who's most likely to go broke after winning the lottery? So we have our cards right here. Um, I have my brother's name in mine, and we're just gonna decide. Okay. Did you put? You. Yes, definitely. I'd probably spend it on like makeup or just like really expensive like furniture I don't really need, or I'd probably go on like a really good vacation. Uh, so yeah. I was gonna say probably go on vacation or shopping and spree. donate to charity. Or so. buy a very expensive car that you won't won't, won't ever drive. Yeah. yeah. So me for sure. Alright, who's most likely to cancel on their friends for a hot date? Me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes. Most, okay, like, my friends would understand. Like, if I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, there's, like, this hot guy, and he asked me on a date, they'd be like, yes, you go, girl. So, like, they wouldn't even care. Um, so, yeah, definitely me. Um, I would totally get a hot date. I'm not sure about you, but just kidding. Rude. I love you. Next. Who's most likely to fall for a catfish on the internet? Ooh, this one's good. Okay. Brogan, for sure. I like, I don't know. I can't do online dating. That's just like not something I can see myself doing. So I would say me because I'm not as social as you are. Yeah. Mostly just because I spend lots of time on the internet mm -hmm. playing games, and I run into a lot of female gamers. So Ooh. that's why. Here are our next outfits. I'll explain mine first. I love this outfit a lot, but th these jeans are white and they have a splatter. A really cute splatter print. And the reason why I love Romwe jeans so much is because they're really high quality for a really, really good price. So you already know. And then we have this red top here. It's a super, super soft crop top and it has buttons going down the middle. All right, this is my outfit. It's a hoodie. I think mostly made for the fall because it's like, it can be warm and it can be a summer one if you roll up the sleeves. And, fun fact, 1984, the first Ghostbuster movies, well, the first Ghostbuster movie came out. That's cool. Actually, we should actually watch Ghostbusters again. That was a good movie. I watched it two days ago. It's like really, really, it's really, really soft, too. Yes. And it has a hood. Who's most likely to get mad if they lose a game? Definitely me, because like I don't know, I hate losing. I'm really competitive, um, but like we play Monopoly a lot. And Brogan does not like like losing. He'll like quit mid game. Um, I don't know. This could go both ways, but honestly, for me, I would say me because since I play lots of games like Call of Duty, where trash talking is always there in Rainbow Six Siege, trash talking is always there. And if you lose, you get very angry, and then you get trash talked, which makes you even more angry. So yeah. Probably me. Nice. <laughs> nice. Who's most likely to get married to their best friend's ex? Okay, three, two, one. 
I know you are going to put that. Um, I mean, I I wouldn't do that, but if it had to come down to Brona or I, definitely me. I mean, my friends have a special bond. Yeah. Never do that. Bro code. Who's most likely to stalk their ex's social media? No, it's definitely like if I'm if I have an ex, clearly like they did something wrong. Um, so why would I want to be like looking at their life? Like we broke up. There's no reason to continue looking at their life. Great for them. They're living their life. Awesome. It'd be you 100 percent because you're always looking at people on social media. I don't really have like regret. I feel like you'd like have like regret if you like had an ex. Like you'd always be like. Oh, I wonder if like she's with someone better now and stuff like that versus me. I'd be like, you know what? I'm an independent queen. I don't need to be looking at that shiz. So, no. I don't know. Definitely Brogan. No. Who's most likely to help their friend bury a body? Wow. I feel like this is like a sign that you're gonna do. Well, mostly because if the boys need help, I got the boys, you know? Well, I'll help my girls out, but I'm not going to help someone, like, bury a body that is murder, and if I get caught, I'd go to jail. That's the last place well, I'd want to be. Well, you kill a person. But you were still involved with hiding them, so you'd still get a sentence. So, no, well, thank you. Definitely broken on that one, guys. <laughs> Who's most likely to be a strict parent? Ooh. I don't know, but I will have to say... I feel like, well, I, I don't know. Um, I put Brogan because I feel like I'd be like more like free range. Of course, my kids are still gonna have like rules and like if they break a rule, they should get like some privileges taken away. But um, since I'm a kid now um, and I don't like some of the rules my parents have, I might take away a few of those. So <laughs> I don't know, but. I heard that. My mom's downstairs, she just heard that. But I feel like Brogan would be stricter. I wouldn't. I'd probably just let them play video games if they didn't do anything bad. Okay, well. Like bury a body. <laughs> it's your turn to read. Alright. Who's more likely to forgive a partner for cheating? Brogan, 100%. 100%. 100 <laughs> Literally, there's like no explaining for this. He would totally do that. Um, I'm a nice guy, okay? Literally, if someone cheats on you, why would you get back together out of all the fish in the sea? All the fish in the sea. You'd go back with them? Mm -mm. You deserve better. I mean, yeah. Okay. I feel like Rogan would just like regret some, like, regret, like, I don't know. All right. Be sad. I don't know. We're gonna get changed into our next outfit. This is my third outfit. I also really, really like this outfit. I've worn it a lot too. Um, but it's this really, really cute white lace shirt. It's like a crop top it is so pretty and then these butterfly jeans again they fit me super super well and they're very high quality um so i love butterflies <laughs> all right um this is my next shirt it says nasa and it's also a good fall shirt and summer shirt if you roll up the sleeves it's soft too. it's it's very soft very light the sleeves are good because they wrap around your wrist decently well and they have a nice oh, seam line seam. Cut, um, it's no like a sweater called. material, you know? Mm -hmm. It's really, really soft. It is. Who's most likely to hit on someone at a funeral? Okay, well, I said me because, I mean, I would never do something like that. But if it's like, I feel like I would if I I have a higher chance than bro, even though I wouldn't do it, but... Um, I don't know. Yeah, I would say you because I'd be too nervous. Yeah, I wouldn't be. I'd be like, hey, I'm just kidding. Who's most likely to live to be over 100 years old? Oh, you put me out. Okay, so I put Brogan because I feel like I'm a bigger, like, risk taker when it comes to doing things. Um, but at the same time, like, I, I don't know. I could, like... I don't know. I feel like I'm a big risk taker though, so I don't think that would end up very well for me. I eat a lot of unhealthy things. <laughs> well, it doesn't make mean that you're gonna like live longer. Well, I don't take care of myself as well. You I know? do. <laughs> I'm very social. Who's more likely to have a crush on their teacher? I already know this one. I've never had a crush on my teacher. That is so 
weird. They're like, I, all my like teachers this year and like last year were like 40 years old or older. So no, thank you. I'll pass on that one. But you, I feel like you'd see like a hot like girl and you'd be like, ooh, hey teacher. I don't know. I just find that gross. Well, some people who are failing in certain classes might need a little extra credit. I don't fail classes. No, okay. So what are you saying? What are you saying? All right, uh, next question. Do you see this inappropriateness right here? Can't believe it. Who's most likely to marry someone for something other than love? I mean, I feel like hot. <laughs> uh, You'll marry uh, someone for their money, 100%. Okay, like, well, you know, like, the question where it's like, would you rather have, like, the hottest husband in the world or, like, the smartest? Well, either none or, like, a little bit of both. Because, of course, I want to have a smart husband, but I don't want him to, like, not be my type or, I don't want to say ugly, but, like, I mean, looks also kind of depend. But so you, like, be smart. How would you be smart. Yeah, I see where this is going. Who's more likely to become an internet troll? I feel like that'd be a lot um, easier for Brogan because I'm already out there on the internet. So definitely Brogan. I feel like he would be a catfish or something like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Just because I have like 37 different accounts doesn't mean you can harass me. That's funny. Who's most likely to eat something off the ground? Definitely me. Okay, so one time I was in like third grade, I think, and there was this um, like bag of pretzels that was open like in the trash can, and I picked it out and I like stole it and I ate it. And then I also, okay, um, this was the same class. Um, there was like we had our backpacks again, like, like up against a wall, and this kid had like his front pocket open, and there's this bag of trail mix, so I snatched it. And then he told the teacher, like, he didn't know, like, where his snacks went. And then I had to, like, hide it. Um, I never got caught. And then I ate, like, a apple off of the ground or something. So definitely me. I'd be too nervous. I'd get some sort of disease. Mm, I don't care. Live life, you know. All right. This is my next outfit. This is the same one as the other ones. It's really soft, really thin. Great one for summer. Even though it's a black shirt, it's a tax heat. But I really like the design because it has a bear on it. And I like bears. It's simple designs, so this one's probably one of my favorite t-shirts that I have. So this is my fourth outfit. I love this one because it reminds me of like fall and winter. It is so soft and super like, warm, um, and it's this really cute low-cut sweater that has um, orange and blue stripes and these buttons going down the middle. And then we have these jeans right here. Again, they're super high quality and they fit me really, really well. Um, and they're like bleached, really cute. Alright, this is one of my favorite hoodies that I have from Romley. Um, it's two wolves basically, and if I have to describe like the, it's really smooth, so it's basically like one of those moisture wicking shirts, but as mm -hmm. a hoodie. And it has one of those through pockets. It's that, really cute. I know, that's why I have it. <laughs> Who's most likely to get their heart broken? Definitely me. I don't know. Like I, my type is totally like, I mean, I don't want to like jump to conclusions, but I really like, like, not F boys, but like, boys that would totally like break my heart. Bad so. boys. Yeah, bad boys versus Brogan, like, I don't know. I take my time. Yeah, he takes his time. Ooh. Who's more likely to lie to their parents? Um. Ooh. Okay, well, this one could go both ways. It all depends on the situation. Agreed. But I put me because um, I've lied, of course. Like, I mean, if you haven't lied to your parent. What? <laughs> my mom's listening. Um, but, like, we've all lied to our parents before, so. Yeah, but mine, my lies are usually more severe than hers are. Like, I remember I got in trouble one day and lost my controller to my Xbox. And so I went out and bought another controller. And my mom came upstairs. Well, no, my stepdad, he said, do you have a controller? Because I've been upstairs in my room like all day. I told him no. <laughs> then like two days later, mom comes upstairs, my mom comes upstairs to ask if can I have something. And then she can just hear the joysticks and the buttons and me talking on my headphones. Then I got exposed. Yeah, I mean, well, like, since like, I am a teenager or whatever, I'm like, 
a lot of kids like lie about sneaking out or whatever. I don't think I'd lie about that. I'd like my my parents would be like, I'd just be like, can I go here? And they either say yes or no. So I don't, I don't see myself lying about that. But I probably wouldn't sneak out. My lies aren't as like um, big as his are. Who's more likely to become president of the United States? I'm definitely, no, um, me, because I'm definitely, like, way more, like, out there. Um, I can't, I don't really have a hard time speaking in front of an audience as I used to. Um, I don't know, I feel like I do a lot better. Um, I'm really, really smart. Um, so, you already know. <laughs> Match 2020. I was saying me because I usually, if there's a problem, I try to fix it as quickly and as best as possible. <laughs> and if there's a mistake, I'll try my best. There's our cat. Gwendolyn. Who's most likely to fall downstairs in public? <laughs> I have. Because yeah, Brogan would be on like his phone or something. He'd be like t t falling down the stairs. No, I was on my phone walking down the stairs at my school. And then I misjudged a step and just face planted down the stairs. Um, I don't think I've ever fell in school besides in gym class. Um, that was an experience. But um, like, I'm only on my, phones in the, my phone in the hallway. I'm not really like on my phone and going down the stairs. So, I don't know. Who's most likely to go to jail for doing something stupid? Definitely me because um I don't like again like I'm a huge risk taker and like one day I could get into a fight with someone and then I could I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, this is my next thing from Romley. Um it's a jacket. It's pretty nice. Has one interior pocket here, not one on the other side. Has a pocket and zipper on either side, two main pockets, and it's a heavier jacket. So probably good for a, a warmer winter day. And it fits pretty well. Has like the bomber jacket vibes going with it. Oh, so, yeah. So these are our last outfits. I'm gonna have Brogan describe his first this time to switch it up a little bit. All right, as you can see, it's yellow. It says Tokyo right here. It's a very thin hoodie, so good for summertime. And soft too. Has um, I'm not sure what these things are called. Drawstrings. Drawstrings on the hood and the side of the hoodie. So if you want to tighten it around your waist, I guess you can do that. Mm -hmm. This is probably my favorite one because of the design on the back of it, which is, I believe, a koi fish. If you can see that. Yeah. Nice, nice. This is my outfit. I love this one. It reminds me of Emma Chamberlain. She is a style fashion icon. Um, but these jeans right here, um, they're really, really cute because this side is like a black denim and this one is blue. Um, so they look really, really cute. Again, they fit me super, super well. Um, and then, then there's, whoa. Did you hear that? I'm like glitching. And um, then there's this really cute sweater. Um, it's so soft and it has white, yellow, black, and blue. So I thought it matched the jeans really, really well. Um, so yeah. Who's most likely to go on a blind date arranged by their mom? Yeah, I put Brogan because like, I don't know. My mom, like, okay, like, my mom has an idea of, the, like, the types of guys that I like, um, but that has kind of, like, changed, so I don't know. I feel like Brogan would be a little more trusting. She probably would do it just getting out of the house. Yeah, I don't know. That's just when you go out and you're like, hey, can I get your number? And they're like, I'll call you, and then boom. So this is the last question. Alright, who's most likely to get a tattoo? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to put me. Oh, I, I feel like you'd like... Well, I would say both for this one, but... I yeah, I, I feel like you wouldn't do it because it would hurt. Um, I don't really want any tattoos, um, but the only... If I if I have kids, um, the only tattoo I can think of getting of is like their names or something. Um, so I don't know. I just don't think you. See, I do think you'd act on impulse and just get it if your friends get it. 
No! But then me and my friends would probably just get all the same tattoo somewhere. But that was the last question. We hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this made you, I hope this made you learn a little bit more about my brother. Again, don't forget to follow his Instagram. It'll be in the description box. Um, and follow mine and my TikTok. That'll also be down below. And all my codes, wrong website, everything like that. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Love Bye. you!